Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we're Brad and Jazz, and we make a living selling items on eBay that we find at thrift stores, auctions, garage sales, and everything in between. Every week we take you along hunting for treasures for us to resell on eBay. But that's only half the story. You need to know what everything's selling for so you know what to buy when you're in the thrift store. Which is why every month we show you 15 sold items, bolos that we are on the lookout for, and five nolos, items we are not looking out for anymore. So let's get into what sold in January 2022. The first item is this Olivetti typewriter. We picked this up in a bulk lot and our cost of goods would have broken down to about 25 bucks for this one and it didn't have its case but it still sold pretty quickly for $120 and they paid $20 shipping and the profit we made on it after all the fees and the shipping and the cost of goods was $73.37. First time ever that we've sold the rock climbing shoes. These are called 510 rock climbing shoes and Brad found them in Savers for only $8. They sold for 64 bucks, which means that we made $36.56. Another first for us was these vintage Tomy fashion plates. And if I see these in an op shop, I will absolutely snap them up. Again, we got it in a bulk lot and we would have paid about 15 bucks for this one. It's all really, really quick for 99.95. So we made 57.89. In the op shop, Brad found some dragon lined motorcycle jeans. We always pick these up when we see them. This pair was $8 and we sold it for a hundred bucks. So we made $69.56 profit after all the fees and shipping. Shipping. Next item was this Nintendo block mounted Star Wars piece. Now this was actually from my personal collection. I did pay about $50 for this back two, three years ago. I actually put this up for auction because I wasn't really sure what the value was. There was none around. Ended up selling for $270, including the postage that the buyer paid. So I ended up making $161.19 on this one. Probably not something you're gonna find often, but maybe keep your eye out on Gumtree and Facebook marketplaces for stuff like this because collectors are really onto them. Next up was this Generation X VHS. Now this one surprised me. We paid $3 for this in a bulk lot. It sold for 80 pretty quickly, which made us $57.56 as well. Next up, LG VHS DVD recorder combo. We always like to grab these. Now this was one of the better quality ones because it did record to DVD. We paid 50 and it sold for $320, including the postage that the buyer paid, which made us $202.57 on that item. Next up, a brand that we don't get to see a lot in Australia is OnCloud, but they're a great brand. I picked this pair up from, I think it was Savers for $16. Ended up selling for $99.95. Uh, making us $57.17, so keep your eye out for OnCloud. Very, very popular brand of running shoes. This vintage Uncle Toby's t-shirt it was a really cool find of Brad's at Savers. He picked it up for only three bucks and we sold it for $65. So we made $43.41 on one pre-owned t-shirt. This is amazing. This is called, is it Niagara? Niagara? It's a massage pad. So it's like a, a heated massager. It plugs in. We paid about 50 bucks for it in a bulk lot, but it sold for $319.95, including the shipping. So we made a $193.27 profit and we are on the lookout for this brand because it sold really fast. We're also on the lookout for Brother Ink cartridges. We always check the expiry date. If it's not too expired, we can still sell it. We picked up this one in like a miscellaneous bag at Savers for two bucks, sold it for $85 pretty quickly. We made $62.81 on that cartridge. We had some cracking international sales this month and we're going to include four of them. First up was this porcelain doll. I think it's pronounced Brigitte. Uh, but it is in the title there. We paid $50 for this doll in a bulk lot. It's porcelain. It was new with the tag still on. We sold it very quickly for $228 and it got posted back to Denmark. So they paid for the shipping to Denmark in that total and we made $102.34 profit. We would definitely pick these dolls up again if we find one. We also sold this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Apollo astronaut toy. We picked that one up also in a bulk lot, would have worked out to about $20 for cost of goods and if we see that in an op shop we'd absolutely grab it again because we sold it including international shipping for $101 and we made $47.85 profit. Not all Adidas is equal and this one was a great one. I spotted these butterflies in Savers and paid $12.40 for this Adidas jacket 
and we sold it internationally for $103.95 including that shipping so we made $53.91 profit and the last one is this Bang and Olufsen CD set it's six CDs and this brand is so sought after that even though this wasn't in perfect condition we sold it same day for $175.95 including that international shipping so we made $60.63 all right let's get into those Nolos those items that we're not on the lookout for maybe we picked these up a long time ago maybe they sat for too long maybe they're in a bulk lot and we wouldn't pick them up individually first up is a forever 21 skirt we picked this up a long long time ago for five dollars it did sell for 25 bucks but the turnover time was way too long we did make seven dollars seventy but we're not gonna look out for those another thing that we're not on the lookout for is these tommy hilfiger kids jeans kids jeans are very tough again this would have came in a bulk lot four dollars we paid into 24 dollars sold making us seven dollars 25 but again the lead time on that we're better off spending that four dollars somewhere else Next up was this vintage leather handbag. I think we picked this up at a garage sale. I think Jazzy originally bought it for herself. Paid five, it did flip for 30, so we still would have made $10.34, but again, probably not something we're gonna keep an eye out for um, when we're out op shopping or garage selling. And last up is this vintage school jacket. Now this came in a wholesale lot, so you're gonna get a lot of good and a lot of bad in wholesale. This was definitely one of the bad. So we paid $27 per item on this. This one sold for 30. So straight away we made a loss there. We've had to pay our fees. We paid the cost of goods and also uh, the shipping. So we ended up losing $10.05 on that item. But in that lot, we made a lot of money on other stuff. So if we were to see that out again, we wouldn't pick it up. All right, let's get into those all important numbers for January 2022. But before we do that, just a quick reminder that we do have a new channel, Brad and Jazz, where we're sharing a lot of the van life stuff. So we're second video in there trying to build out this van. So Trying. some fun stuff coming up over there. But for the month of January, we ended up selling $28,262. And we sold 441 items. Nice. Average sale price for January was $64.09. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that considering that January's usually a little bit of a quieter month with school holidays happening, Christmas just gone, um, and so many people being away. So let us know in the comments below how your January was and your best sale, and we will see you next time on Torsi Thrifters. Bye for now what sold for the whole month to recap <laughs> garage sales thrift stores auctions everything in between i went croaky we don't get to see a lot in australia is on cloud but they're a great brand i picked this pair up from i think it was savers for 16 dollars ended up selling for 99.95 uh making us 57 dollars and 17 cents so keep your eye out for on cloud very very popular brand running shoes and the last 